All right, got a little package today. Um, let's see uh, what we've got here. NSI 978 Gaming Pro Carbon. Figured one last shot to upgrade my AMD before Zen comes out one of these days. But nonetheless, needed something more modern, maybe a M.2 slot so uh, I could get the most out of the uh, AMD uh, chipset that I have. So, got it from Newegg. Pretty decent looking. This will be my first MSI motherboard. I've always used another manufacturer's. Pretty nice looking. Let's see what we've got here. Aside for now. All right, just got some input output shield here. Yeah, not too bad looking, nicely padded. It's nice that they include these on the premium boards these days and not just some cheap little tin flimsy metal uh, input output shield. Here, a little SLI bridge. A couple SATA cables, disc, and then uh, let's see, we got some cable labels here. Right, and you got your typical manual and instruction book. Okay. Some labels underneath here too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little metal sticker for your case. All right, let's look at what the motherboard looks like. Very nice looking here. Got our M.2 slot. Two 2.0 PCI Express slots there. Little sound capacitors. Some USB 2.0s, USB 3.0 there. You got that lights for boot errors. Supposed to light up red. That AM3 Plus slot, DDR3 slots there, some SATA ports there, not too bad, not too bad, it's nice, you got two USB 3.0 slots, <laughs> front side, and maybe some back side extras there, all in all, looks like a really nice board, can't wait to get it in and see. My processor's just a bit dated. It is actually a AMD Phenom 2 1100T, but I have confirmed through Newegg and through MSI that this board will handle a 222 or 220 watt 9590 processor with ease. So I guess we'll see.